Hello everybody, I'm Chris, I'm from the Large and Unnecessary First Player Token Podcast and I am here to bring you another unnecessary unboxing video. Uh, today I am going to be unboxing Dead Man's Cabal, which is designed by Daniel Newman and is published by Pandasaurus Games, who are quite a big name these days. Uh, they have published things like The Mind, which was massively popular, um, Dinosaur Island, Machi Koro, uh, that kind of thing, so hopefully another good thing from them. Um, now, Dead Man's Cabal is, as you can probably see with the skull on the front, it's got a bit of a quirky theme. You are playing as a necromancer um, who is trying to hold a party but has no friends, so decides, you know what, let's just get some friends from the undead. Um, it is a mid-weight strategy game, apparently, so I haven't actually played it yet, <laughs> but so we'll see, time will tell. Um, and it uses a variable phase order um, as its main mechanics, and it's the kind of thing that you've seen in Puerto Rico and things like that. So let's have a look at what's inside the box. Here we go, Dead Man's Cabal. Uh, if you'll just excuse this thing here, this is uh, this is my microphone. Um, this is just where I have to put it for the time being. Um, I'm just going to get this open, get the wrapping off. The exciting part of getting in board game. And opening the lid is the second most exciting part. Oh, so there we go, the rule book. Um, this is not that thick actually. Uh, it's only about what, 11 pages. Pretty colourful on the inside. Seems to be, well, just looking at it now, it seems that th things are pretty fairly well explained. Um, Stick that in there for now. Here we go, your usual cardboard punch out bits. There's a sepulchre. Uh, what have we got? Same on the other side. Or maybe slightly different? No, I think it's the same. Um, some little little tokens here. Uh, more bits of scriptorium. Get that round the right way. And some room room pieces here, I think, some sort of corridor. I would assume that this will be the scoring track. Um, I've been wrong before, though. Uh, here's an ossuary. Oh, I like an ossuary. There's a church made out of bones, generally. Um, the oracle room, by the looks of it. Uh, and more mysterious tokens. What do we have here? The Athenium. I'm not entirely sure what that is. <laughs> more corridor pieces uh, and here we go here's the giant sanctum and I think this is going to be the main focus of the game by the looks of it um, so getting down into the, the nitty gritty I'm going to go for the, what looks like the best bit first look at this it's a bag of skulls now everybody loves a bag of skulls let's have a look at one of these in more detail oh, pretty, pretty solid pretty solid bits of plastic uh, nice little face there if my camera will focus. So yep, looking forward to those. That's, there's a good noise, it's a good noise. Um, obviously some standard board gaming cubes. Um, I could be wrong but it looks like these could be uh, these particular colours for colour blind reasons. Colour blindness. Um, I love a little sulk bag. Oh that's got a good design on the front. Excellent. And some bone pieces. Oh, these look delicious as well. I'll try not to eat these. But, wow. Wow, look at that. There's a single, uh, I guess this is a femur. And there's uh, there seems to be an animal skull in here as well. Uh, okay, I've got through there. And the cards. These are the cards. Um, if I can get these open, I may have to. I may have to cut. Okay, cards open. So these will be the different characters. I'm assuming that you'll be bringing back to life to come to your party. Uh, really nice artwork. There's a dog. Everybody wants a dog. Uh, looks like a tourist of some sort. <laughs> Is this a DJ? Um, 
bit of a jock. There's your uh, southern farmer. I like this guy. <laughs> so yep, excellent artwork in these cards. I'm assuming that's the kind of thing we'll be working towards is getting those. Also have the Kickstarter exclusive cards, which uh, come in a separate little pack here. Um, so I will have a look at those as well. Um, these came outside of the box. Um, so just more characters by the looks. Is that a deer? I think it could be a deer. Uh, I'm not sure what that's supposed to be. <laughs> There's a pussy cat. Everybody likes pussy cat. Um, obviously a triceratops. Obviously, and some other kind of dinosaur. This is an alien. And oh, it looks like a dwarf and a bard in these uh, fantasy friends. So some nice little uh, bonuses there. Quick check. Is there anything underneath? Hidden anything? Oh, disappointment. Nothing hidden in there. Well, we'll just leave that. So there we have it. Um, that is Dead Man's Cabal Unboxed. Well, I hope you enjoyed that uh, unboxing video of Dead Man's Cabal by Pandasaurus Games. Um, I am looking forward to playing it. Um, it's got some very, very interesting little pieces in there. Some of the little skulls and the, the plastic bones, those look amazing. Um, so I can't wait to uh, break that out. Um, hopefully at some point I will do a video review of this game. It's something I'm going to look into doing because I've not done one before, which is strange. But uh, it's definitely something I'm looking into doing. So maybe Dead Man's Cabal will be the first. Um, in the meantime, remember to check out our podcast. You can find us on SoundCloud. Uh, we are the Large and Unnecessary First Player Token. If you want to find us on Twitter, that's where we're most active. It is at 1STPlayerToken. Thanks for watching. <laughs>